first I'm gonna be taking a cardboard box you can see the square shape you can see the thickness it's from an oil box okay and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this cut out I'm gonna trace the outline and I'm gonna cut the shape out just like this you can see the thickness exact same thickness now let's just keep this aside and let's move on to make the gun for that I take a pointer and I'll take this backside out like this you can see and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover it with paper and then I'm gonna attach the spring okay so I've made one beforehand you can see attach the paper on it to block it and then attach the spring you can see now this is the spring system we have all you have to also make the our exterior of it for that I'll take this piece of paper so that it makes a cylinder the exterior part of it and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll it like this move along the line keep the alignment in place and then keep on rolling like this with this I get a cylindrical cylindrical type shape now I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply glue on the ends and I'm gonna stick it we're done with this and now just stick it just hold it in place so that the glue glue dries and well, the thing works out now I also have to make the nozzle the front part of it for that I'll take another piece of paper this one and I'm gonna roll it roll it in a cone like shape okay like this this cone like shape and then I'm gonna do the same apply the glue on the ends and just seal it like this on the ends and just seal it with this I get a cylindrical shape and a cone shape and I have to use both of these we're done drying it up and now I'm gonna cut the upper part of it so that I get a nozzle type shape I'm gonna cut it again so that I get a bigger diameter uh, I think I think I just just a little bit more because the bigger diameter means you can fit the bullet inside more uh, freely now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this nozzle on top of the cylinder and I'm gonna glue it on the sides and on the inside too like I will show you this thing that I made beforehand same thing the nozzle and then the cylinder the hollow cylinder I made this beforehand and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach this inside inside of this apply a little, a little bit of force and then push it inside like this okay but you also have to glue it on the side I'm gonna glue it like this spreading the glue on the sides and then attach it again finally just seal it permanently like this now this gun mechanism is just done you can see everything now I also have to make the bullet for that I will use this strip of paper and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll it so that it forms a bullet like shape a cylindrical bullet like this I'm gonna see I'm seeing if the, if the bullet fits inside if the diameter is just a little bit less than that of the nozzle I have to keep that in mind so everything is working out 
applying the glue on the ends and then sticking it. See, we're done. And now let's just test it before we fix all of it. Let's just test it. You see that? You see the pressure? Again. Nah, I didn't make the pressure. Look. Now you have to make the pressure. You have to make the spring work. Now, I've taken this cylindrical cut out from the cardboard and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach it on top of it. You see? So it hides the nozzle and it gives the, us the front part of Spider-Man's PS4 shooter. Just like that you saw in the thumbnail. Okay? Applying the glue on the ends, I mean on the sides and then sticking it again. Seeing that if it's in place and then sealing it. Now the cardboard that I showed you previously, I attached this gun system on top of it okay like this you can see now I also need to attach support you know give support to it for that I just cut these pieces out from the cardboard and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it on the side so that it could uh, it gives support to the gun mechanism I'm speeding up the video attaching it on the sides and then one after another I'll attach all of these so I have attached four I mean two on one side and two on the other and then sealing it on top with this bigger piece like this you see it's done now I also have to attach it on the wrist for that now for that I just took this I mean this strip of cardboard I cut it out and what I did is I attached velcro on the side of it so that it sticks you know when I place it on my wrist like this I'll show you like this and then sticking it so velcro gives us the sticking power and that's for the wrist the strip is for the wrist for our gun mechanism I mean the PS4 shooter to attach on it now I'm just gonna glue the shooter on top of the strip like this keeping it in place so that the glue dries and it just sticks I mean you need a little bit of more time for that to dry so that you can keep it aside now I'll work on the bullet so that I work on the web mechanism okay I have to make the web mechanism for this for that for this I'll for the web I'll take this thread and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach it I mean insert this thread inside the bullet and then stick it so that the thread doesn't come out so I'm done now inserting it and sticking it on the sides I took the thread inside and then sticked it on the sides with the tape you can see it isn't coming out now I have to attach this end on the shooter now just look carefully what I'm doing I'll tie a knot on the front part of the shooter that when you you know throw the bullet out the uh, thread doesn't come out and it sticks with the shooter now what I, you have to do is you have to insert the thread inside the bullet before you shoot just like I did in the opening scene of my video like this you can do it with a pen and when you shoot the web comes out so that's the thing right now I'm not doing that for the video I'm just speeding it up you know how it how it works you have to just you know insert the thread inside the bullet you have to have a hollow space in the bullet for the thread to you know fill in I'm just showing you the mechanism 
when you'll shoot the web comes out like this okay again I'm doing it again you'll push it and then you're gonna release when you release the web comes out now you can take a screenshot and you can copy the exact same design the color and everything on your shooter I've showed you how it is made made it everything easy okay and thanks for watching the video stay tuned I'll see you again